guys! So the 30 day read is officially over and um, it did end maybe a couple of days ago but this is the first chance I've had to film this video and I'm going to show you the rest of the books that I read. I did do a midway update after I'd read something like six or seven books which I will link in the description box in case you missed that and um, so I'm not going to include those books in this video I'm just going to show you what I've read since then. Now I didn't manage 30 books uh, which is no biggie I told you I wasn't taking things too seriously. I managed to read 17 books and I started an 18th book. Also um, a few of those books ended up being over 300 pages because that's just what I wanted to read at the time um, so I abandoned some of the smaller books. So I'm pretty proud of what I've done because really it was the length of a month and in a month I would never read 17 and a half books. The most I've read this year was eight so I am so pleased and it's just gotten me back into reading so much because since uni ended I wasn't necessarily in a slump but I wasn't reading much because as soon as uni ends I always just feel so tired and find it really difficult to pick up a book but I love reading and this has just made me read every day and I think I'll continue to read every day maybe not quite at this pace but quite a lot and that makes me happy so I'm so glad I did this. I will show you what I read um, in no particular order. First one of the bigger books and that was Charlene Harris's Dead Until Dark which is the first in the Suki Stackhouse series. Now I watched the True Blood series on TV and never really saw myself reading the books but my friend is a big fan of the books and she told me to read them and I was like hey you know what why not I'll read the first one and I honestly really enjoyed it. I mean it was kind of just light reading and um, it was really easy to rush through but it was just a joy to read. I really enjoyed reading these and I am going to read the rest of them for sure. Um, I, I think these are actually quite good books and they're actually, I thought, I knew it differed from the TV series as it went on but I thought the first one and maybe the second one would be a lot closer to the TV series but they're actually quite different so I think if you enjoy the TV series you should probably check out the books if you haven't already. Um, I also read a manga biography of Che Guevara which is by Penguin. This obviously wasn't a complete history of his life, it wasn't a full history, it's a manga and it's also under 200 pages. This is what the art looks like but the art was lovely and it was just a really nice overview of um, Che Guevara's life and I think if you're looking for some light history or a way to get in to history or um, different people's historical lives if you've been interested in Che Guevara um, then I think this is great. I really enjoyed reading this. Um, it's made me want to read more about Che Guevara. Um, so I'm really glad I read this. Um, I found it just a pleasure to read and I would really like to read more history in the form of graphic novels because I think it's a really good introduction to stuff that you're not that familiar with. So yeah, I thought this was really good. I also reread Apollonius um, of Rhodes's Jason and the Golden Fleece. This ended up taking me a lot longer than I initially anticipated because as you can see I was tabbing and I was also annotating as I went along because um, I'm reading this for part of my dissertation so it was a bit of work and there was a bit of work involved with the reading process but um, I enjoyed this just as much as I did the first time around and I noticed some things I didn't the first time around and I would still highly highly recommend this book if you want to get into ancient Greek literature it's one of my all-time favorites and I think I'll do a complete review on this at some point and um, I just need to think about how I'm going to do that because I've never reviewed a piece of ancient literature before. On ancient literature kick I also read a play by Menander. Um, this is a copy of like his complete fragment um, and I read the most complete play um, which was the Discalus or the Bad Tempered Man it's also known as. Um, it was under 100 pages and it was really funny. Um, Menander wrote Greek new comedy and I think I preferred this to the Aristophanes play I read. It was just so easy to read in like an hour and just get straight through which I feel like plays are good for because obviously plays you usually consume in one sitting watching them so I think when reading them it's good to read them in a short period of time and this totally worked. It was just kind of like a silly romantic comedy and I think anybody would enjoy Menander. It's a shame more of his work doesn't survive in its entirety. I also read another slightly bigger one but it was a children's book and that was Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. This was my first Neil Gaiman book um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I picked this one up from the library in particular after Rikita reviewed it on her channel Nerd in Translation and it was awesome. I was not let down. I loved it 
I mean, I kept thinking through it, I would have loved this as a kid, but I loved it even now, so it didn't really matter that I was reading it as an older person. And I really want to read some more Neil Gaiman now because I just think his writing is really good, he's a really clever writer, and I really enjoyed this. Then I read some Shirley Jackson, and I first of all I read We Have Always Lived in the Castle, which is a, a full novel. I adored this book, five out of five stars. Um, it was really different from um, The Haunting of Hill House, but I enjoyed it just as much. Um, it was really, really interesting and disturbing and mysterious, and oh, I just loved this book, and I'll have to review it at some point because it was just fantastic. I also read a shorter book from Shirley Jackson which is a Penguin mini modern classic and it is a small collection of her short stories, just a few, um, sort of to introduce you to her. Um, so these, I think it was six, five or six um, sort of mysterious horror stories and they were fantastic. And not only did it include The Tooth which is on the cover there, it also included The Lottery which is one of her more famous ones and The Lottery was fantastic. It was so good. It was so creepy. Shirley Jackson just writes so beautifully. You, you just can't put them down. <laughs> They're great and I will definitely be picking up the, her complete short stories now that I've read this little one. There are a couple of books I don't have on me but I read volume 11 of the Vampire Nights manga series which was good. As I've said, Va Vampire Nights is not the most amazing um, manga series I've ever read but I think if you like shoujo manga then you'd probably enjoy it or if you like vampires because it is a vampire series. Um, I think it's really good and the art's really beautiful and I will keep going with the series um, slowly but surely. Um, I also read, read the Serafina ebook prequel which was only about 20 pages. Um, I've been wanting to read Serafina but I've just not gotten around to it and I thought well I may as well just read this little 20 page ebook which you can download. Um, there's a link on the Goodreads page and it's free and um, I thought that would maybe get me prepared and hyped up to read the actual book and although I didn't think it was amazing I think because it was short I, I really f it's just it's the kind of storyline that you couldn't do much in a short it wasn't really a short story because it was a prequel not much happened in it so it wasn't fantastic but it did make me want to read the book and I think the book will be really good after reading the prequel. And I also finished uh, The Return of the King, the final Lord of the Rings instalment and it was great. It was quite different from the film I noted um, because I've never read the books before and I'd seen the films um, but I really enjoyed that and um, it was a really good ending to the series. And finally as I said I started a book but haven't finished it. I started Essence by Mandy Lynn. This doesn't come out till August um, but I've got an ad advanced readers copy. I haven't read too much of it yet but um, I'm looking forward to getting more into the story. I also read Down the Rabbit Hole, which you just saw in my haul, and I have filmed a complete review for that. I just um, don't have it on me. I've lent it to somebody um, because it was just so good. I was I had to make somebody else read it, um, but I filmed a complete review for that one, so that will be up very shortly. Um, I really enjoyed that book. That is everything I read for the 30 day read. Um, I'm really pleased with what I read and I ended up reading some really great books, some of which I'm going to review either here or on the blog. And um, I hope you um, don't feel too bummed if you didn't make your target. I didn't make my target, but that's not what matters. It's that you tried. Uh, let me know how you did do in the comments and I will speak to you all very soon.